Hi guys, good morning and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host Eddie and in today's video I'll be discussing what I thought of the super funny latest episode of Star Trek's Lower Decks which dropped its newest episode today on Paramount+. Plus. I just got done watching it and really enjoyed it. Now before I begin of course Please be warned, this is a spoiler-filled uh, episode review, so if you're not caught up on Star Trek Lower Decks by this episode or the past couple episodes, you might not want to keep watching or listening. That being said, you have been warned. Let's dive right back into it. First and foremost, it was great to see a character from the classic series uh, make its appearance here, along with um, a newer character as well. You know, it was nice seeing the Ferengi again, and it was great seeing um, the species known as the Mugatu or uh, Gumado, as they kept uh, uh, mispronouncing it. And I don't know if that was poking fun. I, I can't remember if they were poking fun at um, the actors mispronouncing the character, the creature species from... Uh, other variations when it's appeared on the show or not I can't remember but it was pretty funny throughout this episode how everybody kept mispronouncing it so <laughs> and I realized I remembered where this creature had appeared before it was from the original series in an episode um which uh you know it's not one of my favorite episodes but the creature does have a pretty cool appearance and some good scenes in it uh, I think it was like a private little war or something like that where Kirk discovers one of his fellow Federation officers is involved in a planet's small little war, which violates the Prime Directive, of course. And anyway, one of the uh, antagonistic uh, elements of that episode is the creature, the Mugatu, because it's um, when it attacks, it can like, I don't know. I don't remember if the the horn is the venomous part or if it bites you and that's when you become poisoned with its venom or something. But it looks like they kept that part in this show and there was a whole bunch of them too. I also thought it was pretty creative and clever of how they how they uh, beat the Ferengi and how they used uh, negotiation, which the Ferengi like to use uh, as well, in addition to deadly force. But uh, they negotiated with the Ferengi in order to beat them. And then it turned out for the better where the Ferengi realized that like, could they make a bigger profit, but then like preserve the species so that they would stop poaching them. Uh, I kind of suspected that the whole super spy thing wasn't going to pan out, but I was curious as to why it looked like Mariner was stabbing Jax to death and then she looked so crazy with like the bloody knife. But then it would make her, her story made sense where, you know, he got stung and she was like removing the poison from him and she had to suck it out, which made a lot of sense. Those two just let the bartender story get to their head, which was pretty funny. And I, <laughs> I loved it. The funnier parts of this episode is when they're trapped in the log and the two Mugados start banging each other. The third one shows up and you think it's going to become this fight between the two alpha males. And then the third one ends up masturbating by stroking its horn suggestively. Oh, God, that was funny. And then it ends up sleeping with the other two, like physically sleeping with them as they all sleep. And then I also loved how when they're, um, when, um, I loved how when, uh, uh, damn it, uh, what's, shit, oh, Boimler, uh, I love how Boimler and the cyborg guy are trying to think of a plan to save their friends, and Boimler's like, hey, you know what, we may not have muscles, but we have these muscles, and the cyborg guy's like, oh, our skin, no, our brain, our brain, right, our brain. <laughs> I also love Tendi seeing, I also love seeing Tendi so confident and assertive, like she found her confidence in scanning all the crew members who had refused to get an evaluation. And of course, it was the doctor who was the patient there. I was had a sneaking suspicion that was going to be the case. And it was hilarious how she was trying to outrun her and avoid her by acting like a cat and hissing when she got too close, which was hilarious too. <laughs> and then uh, despite get, breaking her arm, she still gets to scan her, which earns the doc's respect as well. So that was pretty funny. Overall, super entertaining episode. And it was great because it honored uh, both past shows with the original. They honored the original series by including the Mugato. And then, of course, they honored uh, Next Generation Deep Space Nine by mentioning Quark. And then, of course, fe featuring uh, Ferengi as well. So that was fun. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode as much as I did. What did you think of it? I'd love to hear your thoughts and feelings on it. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome rest of your day. Star Trek Lower Deck streams a new episode every Thursday on Paramount Plus, and it is so damn funny. I highly recommend it. So thanks for watching. Have an awesome rest of your day. And of course, until next time, live long and prosper.